welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Capricorn. Let's call in spirit with some more time. So that was like a really good one. <laughs> like, not to pat myself on the back, but it sounds like maybe there's something really momentous happening here for you, Capricorn. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I think we're going to have to start with the Edgar Allan Poe. See, what do we have for Capricorn? So we have the Nine of Swords coming out first. Somebody is dealing with something that happened in the past, probably something they did or did not do, uh, and dealing with a little bit of regret or like the would have, should have, could have kind of situation. Very much so drawn to the bedpost. It's not normally how that card works for me, but I mean, it is in the foreground. But I feel like there's something here about somebody actually being a little bit bedridden, not necessarily for physical condition reasons, but more so struggling with some motivation or even some fear, but there could also be something about, just like that phrase, like posted up, there could also be somebody who's waiting, like to run into somebody. And I don't get it in a, I'm waiting here and I can't wait to run into you. More of a, I know this is going to happen eventually, so I'm just going to accept my fate. It's like, weird. <laughs> exactly. So, the Three of Wands is all about waiting. Somebody here, Capricorn, is waiting for the justice to hit them, the karma to hit them, for what they've done to an empress. There is an angry feminine energy here, and while I often, with this deck, because i got to be honest, this is like my least favorite like Empress card that I've probably ever seen. Even though the Edgar Allan Poe deck is one of my favorite decks, I think just like the darkness of this Empress tends to convey, you know, bad intent or like a fake Empress, even when it's an upright. But what I see here more so is a betrayed Empress. Somebody who is powerful and has that good heart, but has also had somebody underestimate her and betray her, and now they realize that there is shit rolling downhill towards them. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups in the reverse. This person was very excited or content to shroud themselves in a false relationship status. So they may have been kind of bragging to their friends about a relationship, trying to make it sound better than it actually was, and feeling like their status had elevated because of their connection to this person. So they had a lot of fake people around them, or they had built this network based on this fakeness, right? And with this Three of Cups in the reverse, there's a sense that somebody has lost a relationship that provided them some measure of status, and now they're being shunned from that very same community that lifted them up to some extent. So something has come out about this Nine of Pentacles individual 
who is now single. This not very nice person with the two swords in the reverse feels like they don't have a grasp on a situation that they used to feel like they were in control of. So they may have felt like, like I'm getting somebody who felt like I'm dating the most powerful person in this community, so I'm the fucking queen, like bow before me kind of shit. And then something came out, something that this person did, perhaps against that partner of theirs, or perhaps against somebody that mattered a lot, like somebody that that partner of theirs cared for deeply was betrayed by this Nine of Pentacles individual and that person found out and they've been outcasted. And now this person, they don't really know if they have anyone that they can trust, they don't know what people are saying, they don't know what they don't know. This Nine of Pentacles individual, who kind of feels like to me a Queen of Swords or Queen of Swords in the reverse, is somebody who is concerned over their home life, how they're going to have a stable, like, roof over their head situation. And it feels to me like this could be, again, like a Queen of Swords, somebody who has recently had a masculine energy leave the homestead or sell the house or end the marriage there's a rainbow with storm clouds coming in so it's like somebody built up this beautiful home life and bragged about it and felt like they were really something special because of it but they actually were undermining it and have been exposed for what they did to this person. They were trying really hard to give off this like, everything's fine vibe and cover up the shit that they had actually done. But do you see how in this Four of Pentacles you still see the storm clouds in the painting behind him? It's like, <clears throat> nothing to see here. No, no. But, the storm clouds persisted. It feels to me like with this statuette in the foreground with the like largest pentacle, somebody had like kind of like delusions of grandeur and felt like this relationship or this status they had acquired through a relationship was a really grand accomplishment. Like this Captain Morgan pose almost is like pretentious in a way, right? Like, I am the best, right? But they had individuals around them unsure of who this person actually was, what they actually stood for, whether or not they could actually trust this person. And with this, it's also on a scarab beetle larger pinnacle in the foreground, there was somebody that outshone this queen, this fake queen, even when she was outcasted, or even when she wasn't in the room. How embarrassing for this fake queen. Like, look at me, I have the best dress in the room. Everybody knows that I'm powerful, but I know everybody's talking about somebody else, like, positively, like, they should be admiring me, but they're admiring that girl, like, what the fuck are they doing? There is some serious jealousy and possibly even some copycat energy here, Capricorn. I smile because I was really tempted to say a pun. <laughs> if you know me, you know I'm like awful. I love puns. <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna say like <laughs> Capricorn. 
happy. But then I decided it wasn't that funny. We have the magician coming out to clarify the three of wands. I'm going to say again, what you put out for other people, the energy you give to other people is what you give back. When you sit there, Miss Nine of Pentacles, so sorry, you're single, sending people that you lie, talking a bunch of shit, making up lies, trying to manipulate the situation, trying to force people to see somebody worse off than they actually are. You are creating that for yourself. And that's what happened here. There is somebody who tried very hard to be the queen, knowing she was not the queen, trying to build her queen status off of somebody else's status. She's a pretender. She worked very hard to get people to look at the real queen as poor, destitute, crazy, mean-spirited, obsessive. <clears throat> and now she knows, or she's becoming aware, because she's having to see these nights, that she has signed her own fate. And now she's waiting for all the shit that she sent this other queen, this real queen, to come to her. Page of Cups in the reverse. She tried to send a lot of emotional confusion or create a lot of emotional confusion and is now sitting in that emotional confusion. She doesn't seem to fully understand the consequences of her actions or How do I say this? Have you ever worn a really uncomfortable Halloween mask? Just like a really uncomfortable Halloween costume. It's fucking annoying. Like, the older I get, and yes, I still do Halloween because I fucking love Halloween. It's my favorite, favorite day of the year. Um, the more I just want to wear something that I can actually wear for like six hours and not hate myself in. And I remember one year having a mask that was like itchy. This fake queen didn't anticipate how itchy that shit would get. Because when you're actually a spiteful petty Betty and you try to come off as the Queen of Cups, which is what I feel like she was doing here. It's like uncomfortable for these people to continue to try to be loving and genuine and caring when they're not. It's like, ugh, but I don't want to be nice to her. I totally watched Mean Girls last night and I think this is why. We have the strength part coming out and it came out kind of sideways. What this community originally saw for a facade or like who this person was, like what they sized this queen, this fake queen up as, this nine of pentacles, they saw her as strong and bold. That veneer has chipped away. And obsessive habits, obsessive gossip, inability to demonstrate one's own value instead of just talking about others has shown who this person really is. And this community is now realizing that admiration for this person also speaks on their own character. There's like an opportunity for some of these people in the community to acknowledge this isn't really the kind of person I want to be with. Like, not necessarily romantically, but like, I don't want to spend my time with somebody who literally tries to like, bring about other people's downfall. Like, 
some of these people are seeing karma for themselves and some of them are seeing karma for other people and they're realizing it's like probably a good time to excuse themselves from the party. How much clearer can that art get, you know? Like, shit is hitting the fan. The truth is coming out. This Nine of Pentacles is being exposed. Just how far they were willing to go is shocking some people. And those that were willing to continue on when they saw her in this true light, they're getting some pretty gnarly karma. It's like the craft. I keep thinking about that movie because I feel like there's a lot of like retribution and redemption right now and I just want to tell all these people who think that evil eye is a fun use of their time, watch the craft man, comma man. The Craft is a movie that tells you exactly why you should not dabble in fucking with other people's lives. It's a waste of your time and energy. We have the Knight of Rings in the reverse, clarifying the Ten of Cups. This to me feels like somebody who had originally stated a desire for the Ten of Cups, which is the card we're clarifying, coming out again, this time as um, hidden energy, this person offered a stable relationship or a long-term relationship, so this could have been like an engagement or actually getting married or moving in with each other, and then rescinded that offer. Look at the news. This Nine of Pentacles set her on track. Look, if I tried to like start this channel with an inauthentic version of myself, and by that I'm literally thinking if I had tried to like do this without being a little snarky and swearing, <laughs> it would have been really fucking hard for me. I knew the only way to do this was to be my actual fucking self. And that's what this fake queen needed to consider. When you are faking it, there's only one way to make that work. You're faking it until you make it because you're putting in the work to actually become what you're trying to be. This person wasn't doing that. This person was like, no, 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 I'm just smarter than you all, so I'm going to like make you think I'm nice, but you're just Regina fucking George here, girl. You're like trying to excuse yourself from the gymnasium when all the girls get yelled at for being petty buddies. And then every single one of them say, you're the worst of them, Regina, sit the fuck down. The universe is telling this Knight of Pentacles to sit the fuck down. And if you haven't seen Mean Girls, please see it. It's a work of art. <laughs> it's a commentary on American high school culture and it's unflinching. It's old and <laughs> so am I, but I'm pretty sure it's still pretty accurate. <laughs> we have the Two of Swords clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Now this Nine of Pentacles fake queen as is at an impasse because her fakeness has been exposed. Her dark moods, her malintent, her gossiping, her instability. What she does at night, it's exposed. So now she has to decide, like, what am I going to do? Am I going to be honest? <laughs> She's probably going to run away. Oh, look at the time. I, I got to move to a different state. Start all over again. Four of swords. 
while this fake queen has been trying to pretend she's the real queen, the real empress has been saving her money, working on her bag, her business, her career, removing the obstacles in front of her so that she can rebuild her own foundation. And she's waiting for her manifestations to come in. On the flip side, this fake queen knows she's got some bullshit brewing coming her way. She's about to like go through some towers that are not pleasant. And it's because of what she's done, the partnerships she's chosen, the goals she's focused on, invested in. And if she doesn't take a time out, she's going to be put in time out. And that could be like jail <laughs> or yeah, we'll just leave it at that. The number four could be something that you're seeing quite a lot of Capricorn. We've got four of swords followed by the four of wands. The four of wands is clarifying the page of cups in the reverse. There's something here about a foundation that this fake queen thought would be under her, shifting, knocking her off, and being under this real hours. All along, it was there, but she was trying to make it seem like it was her. Like I'm looking at these flowers, <clears throat> They look a little bit like dandelions, even though I'm pretty sure they're actually daisies. Feel free to correct me in the comments. But what I see with these flowers, the vision that I had was a strong wind coming through on dandelions and how all of the seedlings then will you know, disperse. But one flower being able to hold on despite a storm despite a pretender. And it's like somebody weathered something very difficult, better than this false queen could have anticipated. We have the Eight of Rings. The rings, by the way, in this deck are pentacles. So um, that is about investing in a skill or career in yourself, uh, approaching mastery. So somebody, like I said, has really been investing in themselves. So when this clarifies the strength card underneath the three of cups in the reverse, it feels to me like there's not just a judgment here in terms of the universe delivering some karma to some, some people. But we also have the community at large slowly changing their mind or making a judgment call on this situation. And it sounds a lot like, we thought you were right, but it's like a record scratching. <laughs> we're gonna go over on this side now. Like we, we think that she's actually got the stuff and you're just like an illusion. You're like a hologram. You're fucking fake. Like, who actually put in the work? Who actually demonstrated the strength? Who actually contributes to others and themselves? Because this is, this fake empress is a taker. We have the Seven of Rings clarifying the judgment card. Seven of pentacles is you reap what you sow. Like I just said, karma. If you have any doubts on whether or not you've been on the right path in the last six months, seven months, it's harvest season, you guys. You'll be able to know based on the karma. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse again. Again. What was once a reason for celebration, or who was once a reason for celebration, 
is no longer a reason for celebration. This could very well be a wedding that was called off, an anniversary that was called off. We have somebody here who is being exposed as not, like, they're not the Queen of Cups. They're not a sweet person. They're not caring. They're not loving. They're not generous. They are not this empress. And they're losing that social circle that used to celebrate with them or used to celebrate them. We have the chariot, and I absolutely adore that it's a skeleton riding a bicycle. It's so cute. It's clarifying the Four of Swords. So here's what I see in that. For some of you, this is like a recommendation that you take some time outdoors. Do something exercise-y but fun. Um, this could be, you know, like hiking, um, surfing, swimming. There's something here about you being able to move forward and heal and manifest, like bring in these manifestations that you've earned through getting in nature, grounding, exerting yourself outdoors. He's even got a cape on. Oh my gosh. I love this card. Wouldn't that be a great fucking tattoo, you guys? <laughs> <Sorry. clears throat> Side story, I was at a church and an old lady complimented my tattoo. Hey. It's always nice and old people like it. <laughs> All right, so we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. There is a lack of magic, a lack of opportunity, a lack of new beginning for this false queen. If there were projects people wanted to work on her with, they have rescinded the invitation or the opportunity. If she had a great place to live. She is sent, suddenly finding that she needs to find a new place to live and she won't be able to get something nearly as nice. If she wanted to move somewhere new, she's not gonna be able to do that. There are things shuddering to her everywhere. If she had intuition, if she claimed she had the ability to predict things or that she had a close relationship with God. She was probably lying or it has disintegrated because she used it for uh, she, she wished for some really not good things. You can't use like God given gifts to Re have it upon somebody who's a chosen one or like in what world does it make sense for you that you would be able to leverage insights from angels the universe god your spirit guides to hurt somebody who is actually a queen of cups or actually has a close relationship? like are you dumb Okay, good luck with that. I don't care what you subscribe to for a religion. I don't care if you're just spiritual. It's all about your intent. If you have bad intent, you're signing your own. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. You're signing yourself up for not good things. So with the seven of rings, which is pentacles again, um, Clarified by the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Hanged Man. This feels to me like this person's begging people to not go. This person is not able to leave a situation they want. 
there is, for some of you, some imprisonment here. And I don't like to talk about things like that, but I also like to be honest with you guys about what I see. What I see here is there could, for some of you, have been somebody who did too much and played with something that was illegal. And they're not going to be able to walk away from it as easily as they thought they would. All right, if this is resonating for you, give me a like or a subscribe. We are going to finish this off the Capricorn with the Gypsy Orbo. We have friend. Holding flowers. This is under the three of cups in the reverse. Malady. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the term malady, that would be um, illness. You can kind of tell from the illustration there, there's some medicine on the nightstand next to him. He doesn't look like he's doing so hot. So there's a sickness here that somebody has gone through. And it looks like this friend is like visiting this person. Like, oh, I hope you feel better soon. I'm sorry. Consolation. Literally, as I said, I'm sorry. They might have to travel in order to do this. Then we have hope. Again, with somebody who looks like they're, you know, not feeling so great, right? Like, I just heard car accident. Somebody may have been in a car accident. If so, I'm really sorry you went through that. That's never a good time. This situation could be impacted by a child, a younger child. We have joyfulness. Look at how much that looks like the Three of Cups. Under the Three of Cups in the reverse. What's this joyfulness here? It feels to me that because this Nine of Pentacles false queen energy is going to be caught up here, possibly like literally incarcerated, but she's not going to be maybe financially capable of traveling or there's something like maybe her car breaks down. There's something that happens here that limits her mobility and It opens the door for the person she had tried to trap in this relationship to start saving the money and going on this trip they want to take. What is this trip they want to take? This trip that this person, um, obviously getting more of a masculine vibe here, wants to take has something to do with something he feels he needs to learn about. He wants to study a gift. 
gift. This could be a tangible or intangible gift. But it's something he sees as very valuable. He wants to take a closer look at it. This could also be a person, right? Like, this could be wanting to see a child. This could be wanting to see somebody they consider to be a blessing, like this empress. This is the Tarot of Millers. What is this gift that's motivating a journey? I feel like this is the queen, like the real queen, being identified as the gift, the blessing. And she's a blessing because her birthright is to be successful. This could, the real queen could have um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in her birth chart. tried to hide from me. And then we have the two of pentacles in the reverse. He wants to go on a journey, have a conversation with this real empress about the instability that he saw. He wants to learn more about her, learn more about her perspective, and share what he saw because he has some inkling here that she has the foresight or understanding to know that there was quite a lot of drama that happened without her being around. And I feel like it would be healing for him to have a conversation with somebody that would believe or like understand the depths of the crazy that he witnessed. So I hope you enjoyed your reading today, Capricorn, and that you have a wonderful rest of your day.